So in this lecture, we are going to discuss the factors affecting the force of contraction of a skeletal muscles. We were discussing the properties of skeletal muscles and we previously discussed the excitability of skeletal muscles. Then we discussed the contractility of the skeletal muscles and then we were uh, discussing the factors that affect the contractility of the skeletal muscles and or the four uh, the factors that affect the force of contraction of a skeletal muscles. Out of the four factors, uh, we have discussed the strength of uh, uh, the effect of strength of stimulus or the effect of stimulus on the contractility. We have discussed the effect of increasing number of stimuli on the force of contraction and today we are going to effect, uh, discuss the effect of temperature and load on uh, muscle contractility. So the effect of temperature and load are very simple. Increasing the temperature increases the force of contraction and decreasing the temperature decreases the force of contraction. Why? Because when the temperature increases or in the warm environment, the excitability of the muscle increases. If the muscle is more excitable, it, the chances of contraction of the muscle will be more. Similarly, the chemical processes inside this muscle, they increases with increasing temperature. So more the chemical processes, more the energy generation and more the force of contraction. And the viscosity, the viscosity of the muscle decreases. So when the muscle is less viscous, it is more, um, it is uh, allow more, it will allow more force of contraction. Viscosity is also due to some chemical processes and uh, some uh, chemicals basically. The, these are three basic uh, principles or these are three factors which increases the force of contraction of a muscle in with increase in temperature. And the same factor will decrease in cold uh, temperature or when the temperature decreases. So in the cold temperature the effect or the force of contraction of a muscle decreases because the muscle is less excitable. The chemical processes inside the muscles are uh, less the chemical process decreases so the force of contraction also decreases less energy is formed less chemicals um, are interacting and after all the viscosity of the muscle increases so more the viscous the muscle the less the contractility so these are the factors uh, which uh, decreases the force of contraction in a cold environment so the effect of temperature on the force of contraction uh, contraction is very simple Warm temperature increases the force of contraction, cold temperature decreases the force of contraction and basic factors involved are the excitability, the chemical processes going on and the viscosity. Then we are discussing the effect of load on the skeletal muscles. Load of on the skeletal muscles could be after load or uh, for load or free load. After load is the load uh, which act on the muscle only when the muscle has the muscle fiber has contracted the length of the muscle fibers has decreased or the muscle has already contracted for example when the when lifting a weight if the weight is on the ground then the the weight will act on the muscle it will apply its for, force on the muscle only when the weight has been lifted from the ground so before lifting the ground the muscles must contract the muscle must be contracted before lifting a weight from the ground and that weight will be considered as after load the after load basically increases and decreases the force of contraction it's uh, it somehow decreases the force of contraction the other factor is the load could be a free load or for load the force on the muscle fiber comes before they have contracted the size the length of the muscle fiber has not decreased the fibers has not contracted and the load is applied the good example is if a water is water is coming from a tape downward and uh, you have um, uh, you are uh, holding a um, bucket and the water is coming towards it so the water will slowly and gradually comes and it will it will not be able to apply weight before contraction. Muscle contraction will occur after the load, after the water has filled the bucket. So it is understandable that on one side, 
we are only able to lift the weight when we have already contracted the muscle fibers and that is considered that type of weight is considered after load like lifting some heavy weight from the ground and the free or for load is something coming gradually from up towards the bottom and it is slowly and gradually increasing the pressure and at the time of applying the pressure the length the muscles had not contracted the fibers had not contracted in this type of load the contractility or the force of contraction of muscle is high or it is increased in the case of after load if the load is applied and it is the load of the fiber is increased slowly gradually then a time will comes when the muscle will not be able to uh, lift the weight it will not be able to lift the weight just like fatigue occurred for example the the power of the muscle was like this initially then it decreased then it decreased and then it decreased this phenomena is more common in after load in the free or for load the frank starling mechanism occur frank starling the frank starling law says that the force of contraction of a muscle is directly proportional to the initial length so more the length more will be the contraction and this phenomena is more applicable in the free load so the after load basically decrease the force of contraction of the skeletal muscle and the free or for load basically decreases the force of contraction so that's all about the factors affecting the force of contract contraction of a skeletal muscle hope you have enjoyed this lecture thanks a lot for watching the lecture